We're here in Fukuroi City at Shizuoka Stadium Ikopa in the Ogasayama Sports Park. It's a 50,000 odd seat stadium and is by far one of the most beautiful stadiums on this tour. So it was built with the local environment in mind. Uh, seasonal plants and fauna and animals that they actually help to support around here. They've got a 10,000 seat stadium which they use as an arena for basketball and volleyball and so on. Then they've got the 50,000 seat stadium here which was actually built for the 2002 FIFA World Cup but now supports the Shizuoka Prefecture and all of its major events. And it's quite a different stadium to some of the others we've seen on tour, say, you know, Yokohama was a big concrete structure. This one's got obviously a lot of steel and glass, but the roof is actually made of sails that come out over the top of the stadium. It's a bit trippy to be here right now because there's absolutely no one here, but pretty much this time next year, it'll be absolutely jam-packed because Ireland will be playing against Japan here at Shizuoka Stadium in Copa. We're here at Kumamoto Stadium on the outskirts of Kumamoto City. It's a 32,000 seat stadium that'll play host to two matches at the Rugby World Cup. And despite only being 32 odd thousand seats, the stadium is absolutely enormous and will be a perler of a venue to watch a bit of footy. Check it out, there's literally hundreds of crows flying across the stadium here all up in the light tower on these supporting wires, and there's still more coming. We're actually on the 11th stadium on this tour, and I'm still in awe at just how beautiful the stadiums are in Japan. I mean, this one in particular, Kamamoto Stadium, it's meant to be only a 32,000 seater, but it still looks stunning. So here we are, one of the main stadiums of the 2019 Rugby World Cup, Ajinomoto Stadium, which will be simply known as Tokyo Stadium for the event. It'll play host to two quarterfinals, a semi-final. It's big, it's beautiful, it's circular, and it'll be one of the best venues to watch some rugby. We're here at International Stadium, Yokohama, AKA Nissan Stadium. It is absolutely enormous with a capacity of over 72,000 and we'll be playing host to two quarterfinals, two semi-finals, as well as the final at Rugby World Cup 2019. So unlike Tokyo Stadium, which was pretty much all steel, this one is in complete contrast to that because it's made almost entirely out of concrete. It's quite futuristic and old school looking. If I thought Sapporo Dome, look like a spaceship, then this is the mothership. <laughs> Here we are at the Sapporo Dome. Now, of all the stadiums we're going to, this one is by far the one I wanted to see the most. Now, the Sapporo Dome was actually used in the 2002 FIFA World Cup and has a capacity of about 41 odd thousand, but who cares about that? Because the best thing about the Sapporo Dome is the fact that it's got two pitches. Inside is an artificial baseball diamond, and just out here, literally right there, is a grass turf pitch that they use for footy matches that they wheel in and out. On top of that, it is crazy looking. It literally looks like the Church of Scientology has an office here. You can picture Dr. Noah up there stroking a cat trying to bring down James Bond. So let's hop on the good foot, do the bad thing, and have a look around the Sapporo Dome, yeah? Where are baby? Woo! All right, check out the size of this joint. It is friggin' massive. Let me help you. Here you go, there you go. Enjoy, good to be part of a team. We're here at Hanazono Rugby Stadium in Osaka. It is the oldest rugby specific stadium in the entire country, having first been opened in 1929. Every year in December, it plays host to the National High School Rugby Tournament. And this right here is hallowed turf to every rugby player in the country of Japan. So the stadium itself only holds 30 odd thousand seats, but I mean, the equivalent of what Hanazono is to Japanese rugby would be maybe, you know, Eden Park to All Blacks rugby or Twickenham to English rugby. It's the spiritual home of rugby for Japan. Oh, he's just not me. me. <laughs> so 
So here it is, Misaki Park Stadium in Kobe. It's the home ground of the Japanese top league rugby side Kobe Steelers, which features rugby superstars Dan Carter, Andy Ellis, and Adam Ashley Cooper, just to name a few. I'm pretty pumped up to be here. It's good seeing all these stadiums. They've all got their own little quirks. So I remember when I was uh, 17, I actually made the Australian under-19s side at fly half. We toured Japan, came to Kobe. I met a small Japanese geisha, went by Tatsunui. I still think about her. There's no point coming to Kobe and not sniffing the stadium, eh? <sighs> Smells like rugby. Ooh, see the field from here. See where we can find Dan Carter, eh? This is sick. It's got a retractable roof. They're lighting the turf. Must be trying to grow it a bit better. Come to Kobe for the World Cup. Don't even need a ticket. That was easy. So of all the stadiums of 2019 Rugby World Cup, this is by far the smallest with a capacity of 16 odd thousand seats, but by far the most important. We're here at Kamaishi, the Kamaishi Unosumai Recovery Memorial Stadium. And this stadium is being specifically built to help this city get back on its feet. And if you look up here, you can actually see all the valleys of where the wall of water would have come straight through here. And I can't even picture a 40 metre wall of seawater just rushing straight in through here. And this is literally where the school used to be. And they ran up to that hill over there to get to safety. It would have just been terrifying. And you can't even imagine the sheer terror of that coming through here. Seeing the city being rebuilt for the 2019 Rugby World Cup is a truly humbling experience. And I can't wait to see the games played here. We're here at Fukuoka Hakatonomori Stadium in Fukuoka. It's a 22,000 seat stadium that'll play host to four matches throughout the World Cup 2019. It's a sculpture called Pim Pam Poom by Federica Mata. So this stadium is actually unlocked from the looks of things. Hello? Hello? Sweet ass, let's go on the field, eh? Hello? All right, there's no one here. Goody! That's pretty cool. Oh, oh one handed pick up, Staunton. On the toe. Staunton, let the bounce. Everybody stops. Staunton! Try time, Staunton baby. I'm blowing, but I won the World Cup, so it's all good. Footy's hard, eh? Footy is hard. For some, but not me. Here it is, the final stadium on our tour, the 40,000 seat Oida Stadium. It'll play host to two quarterfinals as well as a handful of group matches at the Rugby World Cup and was designed by world renowned Japanese architect Kisho Kurokawa. You can see up here the retractable roof. So this is one of three stadiums at the Rugby World Cup that will have a retractable roof. And one of the best things about the Rugby World Cup, at least in my opinion, especially for the Southern Island of Kyushu, is that the local prefectures are spending a lot of money revamping and upgrading a lot of the stadiums. So places like this, Kumamoto and Fukuoka, will probably have some of the best facilities at the 2019 Rugby World Cup.